Episode six, I really wanted to explore what isolation feels like, the different approaches people kind of take to more. We joined Sam in his apartment, going through the whole journey of accepting it and processing it. And he doesn't want to feel, because when you lose somebody so close to you, it's so painful. Oh, he does what, you know, anyone that wants to kind of like escape from something to do. He... So Megan has been trying to reach out to Sam through all of this, like the phone calls to check up, to say where are you or to say I need you. Sam is just in a black hole. And then we hear on one of the messages that it's been three weeks and he's missed the funeral. And that's the worst. At the end of the episode, she physically shows up to pull him out of this black hole. She's been trying to call him, then trying to leave him alone, and now they actually have work to do. At the end of the day, to see that he's alive, I think is a weight off of her chest. He's ready to fight her. Like, he doesn't want her to bring him back. And, and she does. And she tells him that she needs him, and he understands. It's not like, I need you to be my DJ tonight. It's like, I need you because we got each other.